What's crack YouTube and America are back again. We're into season five of season two, I think, of this Limerick career mode. We're playing the one to November. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven matches to play in this. So, because we have so many, I'm probably gonna sim this first one against Bray, because generally Bray are not a good team. No offense to any Bray supporters out there, but it's just the club is not in a good position at the moment. Another match I might sim might be down here at Waterford. It all depends how they are on the table, how many wins they have, how what's their goal difference and all that. But I might simulate Bray and... No, I'm going to simulate Bray and I might simulate Waterford. So let's get straight into this first match, which is against Bray. So I'm going to go simulate it. Okay, so I'm going to get straight into this match against Bray and we're just going to sim it. It's a home. We should win. I'm going to sim my first team. That's the second team. Here's my first team. Even though there are a few tired players, we should come out on top. Okay, as you can see, Bray's recent result has not been good. I was about to say four losses in a row, but 4-0 to St. Pat's, 1-0 to Waterford, and 5-1 to Cork. So I'm expecting us to literally walk them over. Let's just advance, and let's hopefully... I'm going to skip this just so it's not boring. We only won 2-0. <laughs> That's not a bad sign, not a good sign. It's just two, two goals. We got the win anyways, which is the most important thing. Okay, so as you can see now, we are on top of the table. I don't know how. We have less goal difference than PSV, so we actually should be in second. I don't know how that's working out. We, sub we should be in second. We're two points ahead of Celtic, three points ahead of Monaco. I would have predicted Monaco to be the favourites in this tournament, but they're doing the worst. I would have said Monaco, Celtic, PSV, us, but it it's actually the complete opposite. But we're not going to let it slip here. Hey, this does not gonna keep driving and we're gonna beat every team gotta have that brilliant confidence okay we might not beat every team but I'm gonna give him a shot anyways okay so we're in the middle of November and I'm after getting a transfer offer for Frederick Scram I do not use him in the club it's a straight away except he's gonna leave and we're gonna get a bit extra of a boost to our budget which I will probably put in during the January transfer window but we'll, we'll see what happens when we get there okay so this is the way I'm gonna set up for the PSV match um, Going with the same formation I used in the last episode, just the 4 2 3 1 narrow. It, should, it just worked so well in the last few matches. I said, I'm gonna use it again. And again, why does FIFA do this? Why is Wagman playing CDM and Mendes playing left back? And v Paulo, Victor, and Cam and Fini. It's just, oh, what does FIFA do? Why do they do this? And why haven't they fixed it? So that's the way we're gonna line up. Hopefully, we can do bits and absolutely tear the defense to shreds, but that's very unlikely. We'll, we'll get into it and we see how we do. So here's PSV's team for any that are interested. I can tell you I know exactly nothing about this team. Bar Lozano. Pretty sure I said that in the last game. Angelino. Actually, I might know Angelino. Is he the Ma old Man City player? Old Man City left back? He might be. I used to use him a lot in a career mode. In about FIFA 16. He used to have like a good potential, he was fast, he had everything in his locker that you need for a fullback, and I abused him so much by just always buying him with no matter what team I was, because he was very cheap back then. So that might be him, or else that might be an entirely different player, but who cares. I'm not sure if you noticed, but as you can see, Brian O'Leary, I've given him new boots, I've edited him completely, so he actually looks half decent going into these matches, and not like a complete scrub. This is good. I'm going to whip it across, he is Paulo Victor there. 1-0, let's go, we are fucking through, well we're not through yet, but, oh that is so, I'm so delighted to get that goal, that has given us so much of a hope of going through now, we're not clarified through even, even though I just said it there a second ago, but that just puts us favourites to go through, 56 minutes in, whipped across the box, somehow managed to get, I didn't think he had, was running at enough pace for it, but 6 pulled across, and he just had a straight run, finish in bottom corner, easy goal. I think that's Angelino number six. Good finish by Paulo Victor, first time. Right, nearly hit the post. So very good finish. That is the goal we need. I'm gonna hold on to this formation just for a while and then see how we're doing for a few minutes. If we're under a lot of pressure, I might switch back. But if we're not, I'll just hold it here. And there's just been creation of so much space, plays it. Feeney there, across the box, O'Leary, 2-0, 2-0, what the hell, that, this has been the best outcome possible for us at the moment, Brian O'Leary somehow managed to get, I don't know how he wasn't offside, 
He got the ball, finished it in the bottom corner, and we are so happy. That has nearly clarified us going through. We see now, was he actually offside? I thought he was offside, but he mustn't have been. And then, just a simple finish. Short hold him up. Now, this is not the position you want them. You do not want any crosses coming in in this game, because that's how most of our goals are scored. And that is... What a save! What a save from Brady! I was just being quiet seeing what happened. I didn't know what was the outcome. But Brady managed to save that shot. What the hell? How? How has he managed to save that? We are still in this by the skim of our tea. We're, well, we're winning this by the skim of our tea. How did he save that? That has to be one of the best saves and one of the most important saves he has pulled off so far this season. Chips it up. There we are. Full time. 2-0 versus PSV. That has to clarify us going through. Top or second, it doesn't matter. We are going through to the quarterfinals because of that, I think. I think there's no team that can catch up with Spar PSV. Okay, so I'm back now, and in those couple of seconds in the YouTube video, I've actually been gone for three days. My Elgato game capture and software, I don't even know what to call it. It just is acting up so strange. I don't know what to do with it. Um, I'm, ho I'm just winging it hoping this video fully records and there's no problems with it but i'll have to see at the end but anyways our next match is against bohemians away i'm gonna play my second team for this because it's been two ga two days after the psv match so i'm gonna play my second team and we'll see how they do hopefully they do well i'm gonna go sort them out first though okay so i'm actually after noticing something if you see this this is o'leary he's a left wing not a left back so i've checked here he's not a play there and brady our goalkeeper he is also not a right back he is a goalkeeper so we're missing two positions i'm gonna go into my youth development and see do we have any full backs hopefully we do and i actually might have to sign a free transfer just to cover these positions or i might wait till the january transfer window i'm not sure we'll see what happens okay so straight away it turns out we have barry lynch fast strong i don't know why he's so tall he's quite tall but anyways um he's being pulled up to the first team he's gonna be our right back and we have no left back so we'll have to wait for a while. Okay, so this is the way I'm lining up. As you can see, we have Lynch in right back. The new guy. And I've decided to put on Mendez. He's not that tired. He actually has more stamina than O'Leary. So I decided to put him in full back. Get a bit of game time because I took him off quite early in that last match. But anyways, I'm not playing in position. I'm playing him in full back. But I say he'll do all right here. Okay, so here we are. It's actually going to be interesting to see how the full back does. I forget his name already. Something Lynch. Um, it'll be interesting to see how he does because we literally signed him the day of the match or brought him up to the promoted him to the senior team on the day of the match so be interesting to see how he does is it there anybody no way no is that is that a goal that is a goal it's just gone so quiet Billy Wilmot head over to the fans celebrate it's gonna take way too long he's so slow but we got our first goal, we're winning. What? I did not expect anything to come out of that. One, two. Dummy the cross. Oh, that is not what I want to do. Still has it though, whips it in. Is that 2-0? That is 2-0. What the fuck is going on? 2-0 against Bohemians. With my second team. This makes no sense. We, we've scored two of our goals from crosses. Oh, he was, he was free. And then he just did a free header. I am so shocked right now. This is this is the best thing, best outcome that could have happened. Oh no, not down the right. Oh shit, huge gap in the middle. Can we tackle him, tackle him? Fuck. 2-1. We're still up a goal, which is the positive thing. But it's getting tighter, which is not the positive thing. We also can see, which is another not positive thing. Full time. Okay, so there we are, full time. We're actually after beating Bohemians with my second team, with one new player and a player that does play on my first team, but he didn't even have an important role, which was the weird thing. We did get two headers, one they couldn't really do anything about. Billy Wilmot just hopped up off the air, hopped up from the ground into the air, headered it in, bottom corner, and then the other one, man had a free header and he just finished it. Their goal, they just passed it straight through the defence, ran on and scored. Um, Overall, I'll be pretty happy with that. Like, it is in. I'm going to think of their name. 
I don't can't remember the name of the ground. Daily Mount Park, that's the name of the park or the name of the stadium. So it's always good to win there. Okay, so our next match is a quarter final of the EA Sports Cup. It's against Derry, we're at home, which is a positive thing. But a negative thing out is is our team isn't even fully replenished out with stamina. Mendez is obviously gonna be a bit low because he played in the last game. But imagine if I played all these players in the Bohemians match, how tired they'd be. We would struggle in this next match, so I'm so happy I played my second team and we even won, which is even better. Okay, so we have some nice weather for this match, which is a rare thing in this game because it does rain a lot in this stadium. But hopefully we can do good against Derry. Um, I say we should beat them, but you never know how games go. Like, I didn't expect us to beat Bohemians in the last match with our second team, but we did, so. Switches it the whole way across. Feeney, is he there? 1 0! Oh my god, it just got saved. How fluky are Derry right now? That's good run from Feeney. Pulls it back on the inside. That's good. Paul Victor gets it back inside. Stewart has it. Does not have a left foot, anyways. That's obvious. Yeah, okay, for a second I thought he wasn't blowing up. Now I don't know what happens. I think it might go to extra time. I'm not sure. No, that looks like full time to me. No, nope, extra time it is. No, that is full time. Oh my god. I don't know what was going on. Okay, so I think we have to play again. We have to play Derry again. Shamrocks and Dundalks. Shamrocks and Dundalks. Shamrock Rovers and Dundalks. Ha and Dundalk, not Dundalks, have to play again. They drew as well. And then there's only two other matches to be played. Okay, so we're after getting some more news about Frederick Scram. He's been sold. He is. Going for 150 million, what? Not 150 million, 150,000. And we will get 90 grand of that. It's not a lot of money, but still, he was never going to get played, and I say he was very unhappy. Okay, quite an important game here. We're playing Shamrocks. If you look, we're actually going into second, so if Dundalk lose, we could go into first. But we have to win this game against Shamrocks. Back post, is it there? Paulo Victor, can he get up for the fucking scissors kick? No, he doesn't, he was so close though. Oh my god, that would have been amazing. Mendez, Middleton. Oh, we still have the ball, we still have the ball. What the fuck was that noise? Paulo Victor, gets it up. Stewart hits it. Oh my god, what was that? Fucking hell, I, th I thought we had that one. Oh shit. Oh, I just booed out. What a pussy. Okay, so there we are, full time. Nil nil. We are on a goal drought at the moment. We haven't scored in both of our last two games. This is quite worrying. Okay, so this is a strange thing. Ben Wilmot wants a transfer, even though I've played him in the last game, the game before that. No, the last game, two games ago, another game, maybe three weeks ago. He's playing like every second game. What more does he want? Oh, wait. He wants to be a regular. Okay, I might sell him for a bit of cash. We could bring in a nice young fullback. I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens, but we'll have to wait for January. Okay, so a big game here. We're playing Monaco away. Um, we drew with these, scraping a draw with these at home in the first time we played them. Don't have much to say, I'm just gonna play the exact same team. Let's get straight into it. Okay, what the fuck is this? Is this Monaco Stadium? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that is disgraceful. How could I ever be anything resembling this? Like, there's such completely different stadiums. What the hell? What is... This makes no sense. Anyways, let's get into this. Let's get this business over and done with. I swear it was that easy. It's not. It's... I'm actually quite nervous that we'll lose this one. And then they'll come up drawing points with us. And then PSV will beat Celtic and they'll be up drawing points with us and we might be kicked down the third. But we don't know what happens, so we actually need to secure a win here. And then I think we're secure to go through. Mendes hits it. Hits the post! Oh no! What the fuck? That was so close. Oh, that would have been an amazing start. Colorus. Just as I wasn't talking. Just as I wasn't talking. Three minutes after halftime, we score. 
against Monaco. Man, I planned on selling this guy in the start of the year, and I'm so happy he d I didn't. He's top of the air Tristy leagues for goals. He's after getting a hugely important goal here. Um, I don't even know what to say. It was a mispass. It was meant to go to Mendes, but Calderus got and he finished. Not too bad. Okay, there we are. So full time. We're after beating Monaco. We're true to the round of 32, I think, of the Europa League. Why are the Monaco fans happy? I don't know. That was the Monaco fans, I think. But anyways, I don't know what to say about this. We're definitely true. We could finish top of the table, which would be absolutely amazing. I'm actually kind of shocked that we're actually doing this good. Okay, so this last game in the month, it's a way against Watford. I'm just going to hop in straight away. Simmons, let's hope they've lost two last games and then drawn the third, their third last game. Surely we can beat them with our second team. No, we can't. <laughs> oh, I just jinxed myself. Touch wood. We're going to win. Oh, he drew. Feeney came on and scored. It's not too bad. Um, I think that's going to be the end of the episode. Make sure if you did enjoy the video, you like. And for more content, subscribe. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.